Just about set to go now. And today on the Hill, Michael Waka. What should we keep an eye on here? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Ready to go? Taylor. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Ward. The wine of the pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And with that, we're underway in Kansas City. the top of the first here's the shortstop at the play Zach Neto and first offering is fouled off Waka measures six feet six inches 32 years old and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Iowa one down base is empty that one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and well plays made there and that retires the side and the Angels are gone in order and now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City and on the hill in this one Griffin Canning. What should we keep an eye on here. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We, we know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch baseman. how he works in this one. Here's the second baseman, number 11. Yeah. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's 1-0. A wind in the pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That one's in there. Strike one. You know, Boog, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same game. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Off the mark there. And now 2 and 0. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. Aye. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Two down, nobody on. 
That one fouled off. And now two and two. And they'll do it again. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing, nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, here's Kevin Pillar. Number 12, Kevin Pillar. Waka back to work. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Oh, one that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Kicks and fires. Misses inside, and the count one and two. It's a good take. And a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Pitch misses, <laughs> and the count is even, two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than to have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now, Logan Ohapi. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently under the Mendoza line so far this month. 0-1. That's inside. off the inside edge. One ball, one strike. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon may be a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Brandon Drury to the plate. Just missed. All one, no strike. And a pitch. That's in there. And it's one and one. No score here in the second. And another ball. The 2 1. Pilar on the move. Strike in there. Go, and they got him. You know, I always felt as a base runner, base stealer, that, you know, if you can get in that first, second, maybe third pitch, get your job and steal second base, you had a much better chance of being successful. As it gets deeper into that at bat and those pitches rack up, you almost get a little more flat footed, and you've got to be sharp to get that jump and to beat a good throw down to second base. Just wasn't able to do it right there. Righty delivers. Got him. And it's a three up, three down in it. 
No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now at the plate, Salvador Perez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The right-hander back to work. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Way high there, and it's 2-1. And the right hater deals. Got him looking. One out. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And that one fouled off. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Fights it off. He'll see another. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Yeah, there's no doubt, bro. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. The one thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two outs, runner at first. Garrett Hampson, the next to hit. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. Off the mark there. And the count even one and one. In the air, left field. Ward drifts towards it and makes the grab. And the inning is over. So one left for Kansas City. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Joe Adele. Number seven, Joe Adele. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a swing to miss. And there's a the ball. The pitch. Stays alive. Wouldn't chase that time. Pulls 
the string with the changeup, struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Michael Stefanik getting ready to hit. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. All one's the count. One down, base is empty. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. a tough call for the hitter but the pitcher will take that all day long not quite in the strike zone but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can Anthony Rendon in the box now no balls in a strike Two down, nobody on. In one and the one. dirt, and it's one and one. Finish him. Two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And we're back. Leading now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. The third baseman, Paul. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers fastball for a strike. Headed down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Dyrone Blanco. First pitch, and he just misses. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Right through there for a strike. This to third, jumps, throws on the money. Nice play. Now back, the second base. Mike Garcia. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman. That hey. one's in there, 0 and 1. Riding to the plate. That 
right. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good. Three. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. Still no score. Out of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Taylor left fielder, Ward. Number three, Taylor Ward. Waka back to work. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Oh and two now. Swings and misses. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. Right through there for a strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. Fouled off, he was late. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. On to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Nolan Shotwell will hit next. Grounded out his first time up. Fastball for a strike. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. Struck him out looking. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of inning number four now. No score. Here in Kansas City, now the number two hitter, Bobby Witt Jr. Witt Jr. is one of only two players in ALNL history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in each of his first two seasons, boo. The other player, Julio Rodriguez. Well, these Royals, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. The pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Up the middle. Neto gathers and throws to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. First time up was a pop out. That's towards center. Two down. Now back, the designated hitter. And now it's Salvador Perez to the play. Struck out looking his first time. Perez, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela.
two outs. And a foul ball, third base side. One Next ball. pitch misses two way three. outside. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 1 2. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ward brings it in with a nice run and grab. Three up, three down for him there. We played four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Kevin Pillar. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. One. Up and in. Yep, and that's ball one. one. You know, these Angels just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to oh, this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Just three. missed. Curve drops in for a strike. The 3 1. That one ripped right center field. And it one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Run on base. Logan Ohapi digs in now. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And now two and nothing. And another ball. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. He's 0 for 1. And there's the strike. Big at bat right here with an opportunity oh, to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. And a pitch. In there at the knees. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And the righty deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good nope, eye right the there. Ball. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Good lay off that pitch down. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And no pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. 
Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. And now the right fielder, Joe Adele. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Two on, one out. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is outside. And here it comes. Got him swinging for the K. Had him out front for strike three. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. So first and second with two outs. So in now for the Angels, Michael Stefanik. Splits the plate. Going one. First and second. Two down. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Caught him looking for the K. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Hunter Renfro. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, these Royals, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. For me, takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Right through there for a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And that one's a little bit low. The count now two and two. And that's down and away. One down, base is empty. Headed towards the corner. Ward sizing it up. He's got it. Out number two. Good pitch. Number he just kind of had him out in front two. on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Here's Garrett Hampson. Fly to left his first time. And he lays down a bunt, and it goes just foul. The wind and the pitch. That misses. One and one. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. Gets it to first. 
bang bang play and the inning is over nothing doing for the Royals and we are still scoreless and welcome back to the ballpark top of the sixth inning and now the DH Anthony Rendon the pitch that one finds the zone it's 0 one and that's through there for a strike well he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole he's gonna have to battle hope he gets a mistake and that's in the dirt that's hard hit on the line pulls it in on the run and there's one down back to the top of the Angels lineup now the left fielder Taylor Ward who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts Bounce to third. De Young tosses across the first, and a couple of quick outs. And next for LA, Zach Neto. Pitch misses inside. One and zero. Oh. Oh, that hit him. And they get He's the out. out after the ricochet. Angels retired 1 2 3. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. And we still have no score. And we're back. There we go, bottom six. And to the plate for Kansas City, Paul DeYoung. And he deals. Sliced hard, but foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Breaking ball inside. And now it's even one and one. Just missed. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 3-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the center fielder, Dyrone Blanco. First time up, he grounded to third. Hit hard, that gets through. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Canning checks the runner, and he's back in easily.
So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. And here's Kansas City's pinch runner, Kyle Isbell. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The old one. That nope. one missed. With the go ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. That's inside. And another ball. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Bobby Witt Jr. next up for Kansas City at the belt and fires. Fouls one away and now three and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, number finding number all seven. the holes in his swing Shut and his up. approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three Good times job. in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now Bobby Witt Jr. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Two outs. Inside corner for a strike. Oh, a two down. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. No score. So coming into the game now on defense, Kyle Isbell. He'll be patrolling center field. Leading off, Nolan Shanuel. Leading off to the Angels, the first baseman, Nolan Shanuel. Waka back to work. And there's a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Wouldn't oh, chase no. that time. Two balls, one strike. And a pitch. On the ground. And that chance handled. Jump throw. He's safe. safe. He beats it out. And a go-ahead run is on to start the no. inning. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. And now it's the Angels cleanup batter, Kevin Pillar. He's been a great free agent side. That That's misses, and it's one and oh. The go ahead run aboard at first, nobody out. Ground ball to the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. Throw holds him at second. But the go-ahead run now in scoring position. And still nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. That one out to right. Renfro getting an angle on it. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. The batter, the second baseman, Brandon Drury. And now here is Brandon Drury.
That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. Oh. You're a little late, opposite field not. One -oh. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Lucas Airsay, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Smith, a left-hander, also throwing. With the go-ahead run at third, here in the top half of inning number seven. Nope. Missed with a changeup. Yeah, that's ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2 1. On the ground, two ball. There's one, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3, inning, ending double play. here at Kauffman Stadium set for the last half of the seventh so up now for Kansas City Vinny Pasquantino the why to kick the pitch outside changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one we've seen a lot of missed time swings and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right next pitch in for a strike and the count is one and one And a swing and a miss there. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Sets him down looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Salvador Perez. Just missed. That one missing inside. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. That oh. one misses. And now 3-0. and oh. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And that's a base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. The right field. Now it's on a Renfro. Renfro. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Now batting, catcher, ready, ready. Now the catcher up to hit, Freddie for me, one for two. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Close nope. one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. one, and one. And ball another three. ball. And a foul ball. That one lifted to left. Ward drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And that is the inning. Royals leave one. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Kansas City. Now it's the right fielder, Joe Adele. Joe Adele. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, gets the outside oh, corner with that one.
Kicks and fires. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The line of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, I think he's got to be feeling pretty invincible out there on the mound right now. I mean, he's got the shutout working so far, and even when he challenges these guys, he's getting away with it. That pitch right there really wasn't anything special, a hittable pitch, but he gets the punch out. Michael Stefanik, the next to hit for the Angels. Popped in the air, left field. Calls it in, two away. Now it's Anthony Rendon. That one fouled off. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches Whoa, right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. And a foul ball left side. Finish him. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrendering a run. And we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Garrett Hampson. The wind of the pitch. That's through there for a strike. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Trying to bunt his way on. Boots it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense, and they've been pretty quiet all game, so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Griffin Cannon won't go any further, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Carson Fulmer. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. No outs, runner at first. Here's the third baseman, Paul DeYoung. First pitch, just misses. All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Ground ball, left side. Off balance feed, there's one. Relay to first, double play. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play, and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Batting for the first time here in the eighth inning after coming into the game as a pinch runner. And downstairs.
wouldn't Captain chase that Walter. time. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Matt Moore, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Quijada getting cranked up as well. Two outs, bases empty. There's a strike, and it's two and one now. Two balls, one strike. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. So they turn things over to the righty, Lucas Ersen. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Taylor Ward. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And a pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Slice to right. Safe at second with nobody out. And that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. And now it's going to be Zach Neto. Man at second. Late swing fouled off. Right handed reliever. And a count one and two. The pitch. Got him! Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Nolan Shanuel now at the plate. One for three. And that one is inside. Look, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. And fouled off. With the go-ahead run standing at second here at the top of the ninth. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. And that's outside. Kevin Pillar waits on deck. Payoff pitch. Flares it into the outfield. Takes it in for the out. 
That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. Three for three with two singles and a double. First pitch, not close. Fought off foul. Finish him. And the righty deals. And another ball. In there. Got him looking for the K. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And we're back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, number 11. Now the right-hander ready to go. Oh. Still no score. Action in the Angels' bullpen. And Joyce, the closer, is getting loose. Hard hit to third. Zips it across. One up, one down. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that one missing low. That pitch clips the outside corner. And the count one and one. Bases empty, one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And that one fouled off. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way out of here. Ball game. A towering shot. And the Royals walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.